I don't respect Islam. Islam does not deserve the respect. In Saudi Arabia, in Yemen, today they rape little girl to death just because Muhammad did and they still doing it. Wife beating is in the Quran 434. Raping women in, in war is in Quran. Uh, for example, Surah 4, 424. Muslim army take Mary women and rape them. It's okay in Islam. It's in the Quran. That's what they do into to my fellow Christians in, in Syria and Iraq today. Taking Muslim as uh, Muslim men take Christian girls and force them to, to become a Muslim and marry them. Just like Muhammad did. Muhammad he, he killed Safiya's uh, father and killed her whole family and he married her. Muslims say, oh he married her. No, he raped her. That's what he did. It's a rape. Do you go to bed with the man who just killed your family and your husband and everyone else in, in, in all your, your, your family members? No, you don't. That is Islam. Not long ago I met a Muslim uh, man in, in Sweden here and he, he showed me a video where, uh, where a Muslim man took a Christian man and cut his uh, head off. A Somali man, they cut his head off. The, he, he told me that this will happen to you if you don't stop talking about Islam. That is what your religion is doing to me and my fellow Christians in Iraq, in Syria, in Nigeria, in Pakistan, in Somalia, in every corner of the world. That is what Islam is doing to us Christians. That's what Islam has been doing to Christians for the last 1400 years. And everything they do is according to Allah, is according to Quran, is according to Hadith, is according to Islam. That is your God, that is your Allah who says in Quran from A to C, it says that kill. And in, in every chapter of Jihad in Sahih Bukhari, it says kill the Christians, crucify them, lie to them, deceive them. It, it, it's everywhere. You can read that. You can read that. You can read these small Hadith books and, and, and that's what it says. 